I'm gonna come shave you. You wear a tank top. I'm gonna shave you. Save yourself. He's afraid of me now. His crusaders got my account suspended and banned for a day. But I counted down the hours, and I walked up that hill. I sip a smoothie now, and I smirk. I have him right where I need him. His fans can report me and try to deplatform me all they want. I won't stop walking up that hill. Dedicating every day to my goal, every inch bringing me a mile closer to shaving Eric July's arm hair right off. Eric, I'm sorry. This this weirdo guy is like sending me hundreds of dollars. But as long as you're gonna let keep him. getting money, let him keep. Let him so him you know, ASC presents. I'm gonna come and I'm gonna come shave you, Eric. And none of these people can save you. Yeah, you've been doing some weird <laughs> stuff on Twitter, That's but I appreciate guy. you. This sending challenge me money. accepted. At least he paid you, man. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I money. appreciate the money. Um, please keep oh. sending more. You know. King oh, he did. Case, oh, he's he did like, uh, I'm just gonna he's skim just through out this. Basically, he says he's gonna see you when he's off. For, this is the guy that wants to shave your beard. He's yeah. like, I'll see you. No, in it's Texas. his shoulders. Arm hair. I think it's or his whatever. His he sent two head. of these. Weird he sent dude. a bunch. Weird dude. Yeah, I think that's the same guy that thought I was five six. Boy, is that guy yeah. for a rude Yeah, he sent another one. He's like, I pray you continue to grow the Ripiverse charity frauds. He sent me fifty bucks to say that. Uh, when I pull up and shave your arm hair, the stakes are even higher for you. Dude, I, I man, go see a doctor, please. That's um, an expensive help. fried rice you can get. You should uh, before, you, before you see a doctor, just keep sending super chats. Yeah, keep sending $50. Yeah, I don't please. mind the money, so it's like Yeah, fine. send them on your way to therapy. No, the fatty oh. bacon is the best oh. kind of bacon. No, I learned this because Canadian. the first time I went to the warehouse, like Eric was like in full mission mode and was not speaking, no words, no nothing. And it was like on day four when I heard him say the most, when he's like, I ain't eating no crunchy bacon. I was like, Whoa. <laughs> uh, there you are again for $20. I apologize. I'm a big Igor fan after the stream. I forgive you. I still don't think women should work in comics, though. Thank you for the 20. I don't know what that means, but the uh, <laughs> Because your hair is more glorious. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to make ours. a joke. Yeah. I only highlighted because it's twenty bucks, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> We're at twenty-four thousand uh, five hundred books sold, so. and that's not including donated. I, I, I don't want to miss anybody because the one time Eric July missed my super chat, I think I let him know for like a year. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, it was the greatest day of my life. And that crazy guy's in my chat with another twenty. Uh, hey, if you don't say Ethan Ralph on stream, I won't get paid back for these chats. Oh. Ethan Ralph, there you go. I don't really know the guy, but uh, you get more hey, money flowing to you, sir. So that's hey, a good thing. Like, whatever. But man, I thank you for sending a <clears throat> lot of money over here just to make weird comments about people's arm hair. I appreciate you guys coming on this live stream and making me some money. Uh, AIC presents. Thanks for sending money. Riley says, support indie comics at clipaverse.com. That's C L I P P A verse.com to get fresh new clip of verse merch we haven't made any comics yet but that's because the fans haven't bought enough of our original merch yet from clip of oh, wow. riley okay riley is engaging on his own uh 
quest against Eric July. I don't know if people have been following this. Yeah. Uh, Riley says he's going to get in such good shape that he can sneak up on Eric July and shave, shave him. him. And shave him. him. Shave his That's arms. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're wishing Riley luck. Piss the bed. The only laundry breaths down there are soft. It's not important. What's important is I'm still walking up the hill. You sneak up on Eric July and shave, shave him. him. Shave his That's arms. Cool. And then when people criticize him or say, run up on me. Do you, are we really going to fist fight people, bro? Is that what we're doing? We're fist fighting people now? Run up Can on I you? Can I give a shout out? Can I give a shout out to Riley, who's been. Oh, yes. He's been amazing. My favorite part of this entire feud between Dick Vito and, and Eric July has been Riley. Riley has been the bright spot of that whole thing. It's him just every day filming a video of him walking up a hill until he's in good enough shape to run up on Eric July. Yes. And he's threatening to shave his beard. DM. See, you're, you're fucking hitting, hitting people. Which, which man, if you do streaming, you know that's like a mortal sin. You don't do that. Well, look at this! Eric July's employee, Alex Miller, Alex James Miller, has flagged down my Clipperverse logo from my shirt store! Okay, okay! Sure! You think you can fucking flag? My parody logo design for my website and get away with it, Alex? You're on my list too! I'm gonna teach you and Eric a little thing about fair use! Clipperverse.com, baby. See you in Texas very soon, Eric. I'm saying why I bet you weird stuff quick with the fear day of the she hosts fitness I'm beyond hit miss How do you like that hill? It's a bigger hill I'm beyond hit miss I be on these mics now I'm to see me sniff this Cocaine lightness, beer buzz lightness I feel better when I write shit Don't need you to listen I'm not a white kid amazing and native light It's racist for you to question my life bitch I'm stone stone drilling on to get my eyes bitch Yeah, that was freestyle Fuck you bitch I'm not sure what other jokes to add to these. I think just the rabbits makes it funny enough. Right. Eric keeps ignoring my super chats, so I brought him 50 bucks. I also vandalized his building with these stickers. We'll see what he has to say about that. What's up, Bunny Battalion? It's me, ASC Riley, the king of the Clipperverse, Young Clippa69, and I'm here to totally vandalize Ethan Van Skyver's warehouse with money. With bunny money! Look at that. Look at what we're doing, and there's nobody who can stop us. There's no... Oh, shit. What the fuck are you guys doing? Uh, I didn't think you were going to be here. Um... How come I only get two bucks, asshole? You gave the other guy 41. He said he's gonna call the cops. We gotta go. We gotta go. Come on. We gotta go. Get into the car. We gotta go. He's gonna call the cops. It doesn't hurt me. Do you wanna feel how it feels? 
Do you wanna know? Know that it doesn't hurt me. You wanna hear about the deal that I'm making? Director Matt Barr thinks it's funny to call my friend Vito a pedophile. I'm about to. I'm gonna need to do something first. I'm gonna need to collect all the supplies necessary and put them in this backpack for him. We lure him in with these bags of candy. He won't be able to resist them. Of course, I have to grab some bedding. We gotta make up the room that I'm gonna be keeping him in. I'll need something cute to wear when I'm done with him, and since I can't find a sailor costume, I'll get him this Spider-Man outfit. It's right up Matt's alley. We need a Nerf gel blaster in case he puts up a struggle. Obviously, bicycle cables work a lot better than rope when it comes to tying down a grown man. He can't even chew through this. And of course, any this aggressive will require fully synthetic, high mileage motor oil. And these. And in case the motor oil doesn't get the job done, I have experience using this one. You hear that, Matt? That's what you're gonna sound like. When I'm done with you. Welcome to Mortal Comics Gate. Three, two, one, fuck them up. Yo, Ripper, what did I tell you about leaving the gates to the warehouse? So, stop stalking me. Apologize, Eric. Get out of my warehouse. Sturgis <laughs> attack. Monetize my haters. Get back up, Eric's ass, Sturgis. Motherfucker. I'm gonna shave you. Bunny uh, money. I'm gonna vaporize. Bunny money. Uh, Motherfucker. Bunny money. Uh, Don't mess with the bunny battalion. I'm not reading your super chat. All right. You're gonna get shaved. Shoulder hair attack. <coughs> you see, this is what they do. They come into your warehouse thinking that they can shave you, but I'm they don't know you, the Eric. power of the shoulder hair. You will apologize. Stop stalking me, detractor. It's clipping time. Hey, what the fuck it is? What the fuck it is? It is, it's, it is. Did you just rape me? What it is? Don't you what it is, me. Ripperson it is. Shipping it is what is important it is. The horseman coming! <laughs> we will winning! What it is what it is. This is what it looks like when you pull up. Finish him. I'm gonna grape you! <laughs> Clipality. Winner. Young Clipper. I am the Horseman! We will winnie! Welcome to the Clipiverse. Before the Clipiverse starts, I should mention a few things for canon's sake. Will be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, mainly because I'm doing art streams and they're doing very good, like 10k views, 12k views, level of goods. Take that, CG slumlords! Anyway, also, we got some darts. $2 for one dart, $5 for three darts, $10 for five darts, and $20 for ten darts. And also, $50 for one slap across the face. So that's what it is. Welcome to the Clipiverse. Previously on the Clipiverse. Yeah. 
I'll rip another verse if you don't let me shave you. I'll hell the clip a verse. I some cannot save you. I'll rip another verse if you don't let me shave you. I'll hell the clip a verse. I some cannot save you. Pull up. Yeah, pull up. Ignore those super up. chats, you son of a bitch. I'm about to pull up. I ain't never gonna stop I'm gonna pulling up. Pull up. I'll be back anytime I want to. What's up, I'm funny battalion? It's me, ASC Riley, the king of the Clipperverse. How come I only get two bucks, asshole? I'm pull up. You gave the other guy 41. I'm about to pull up. You're a fucking pussy! If you don't say sorry, we're coming for you! This is now on so many levels. Hey, Bob! I'm Canadian, Bob! Sing, sing, sing! We have the king of the Clipiverse. We have the man with the shaver. He's going to clip you. He's going to clip. He's going to clip Eric D. July, the man who went to Eric D. July's warehouse, put bunny money on his warehouse, and caused five cops to come. And the man with the horse man sized winner. We got Young Clipper! Hello, Young Clipper. Howdy, y'all. It is I, Young Clipper here, the CEO of the Clipperverse, a multi-dollar company. Are we ready to get wild out there, y'all? Yeah! I'm hecka ready to get wild. Did I capture the spirit of this occasion? Am I dressed appropriately? I think you are. <laughs> I have what's left of my jacket after I ripped it during the I'm not Alex Stein bit. And I have this cowboy hat with my beanie on it. <laughs> Let's see how impossible listening to videos is going to be. Uh, yeehaw, chat says. Yeehaw. yeehaw. <laughs> how was the headphone situation? It's not, I don't know. It, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll put them on. Then I shove the cowboy hat on over it. I guess it's working. It's yeehaw. <laughs> cowboy emojis. Put them cowboy the emojis. Cowboys in the horses chat. in the chat. Horseman's in the chat. We need horses Horse in the chat. Horseman in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, horses. Horse emojis, y'all. We're we're doing it real. We're doing it Texas style today, folks. <laughs> Texas style. We're here. Uh, I don't got no guns around. Oh shit. I should pull out a real gun and I should shoot up in the air like I'm boogie on <laughs> on a day when nothing's going on. When, when someone I invited to my house comes by. Uh, that's what I should do. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, we got some horses in the chat already. The headphones are not going to work with the hat. I'm just going to have to suffer it. All right. Well, enjoy, enjoy I guess. Enjoy no, your fate. Suck. This is how art I'm gonna works. I'm going to do it for the bit. We need a howdy. <clears throat> All right. There we go. I have to stand like this for the whole episode, for the bit. Give the chat a howdy. Howdy, y'all! Did I not come in with a howdy? Fuck! <laughs> this is so impractical. Eric, I hate you for having to wear such silly, stupid things and me having to somehow match your energy. Uh, he was he was given the Young Business Award. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the young Eric July was given the young the young man and doing business award by uh by some small business school in Texas. That he oh. he applied to, obviously, like someone had to nominate him. It was pro it was just him and his company. Igor did their logo art. Uh, okay. Or Marcos, one of those fucking concept artist guys. You're gonna have to pull that up on Twitter. Uh, it was bragging about how he did the logo art. Oh, great! That's that's for their new fun. logo and how he like he drew the cardboard cutout art, and it's like, yeah, it looks like it. You can see when you open up that picture of him. Uh, standing next to the award table and with uh, with the cardboard stand in uh, cut out behind him. Did you yeah. get that? Oh, I don't have the uh, I don't have the photo. I have the. Um, oh, why not? Be I, I you just have the videos. I have the video. Fuck it, roll the first video. Uh, that'll probably show what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, that's uh. Let me just actually pull that up. Let's go, bitch! Oh, yeah, I got a few videos. Actually. Come on, yeet, yeet, yeet. 
bitch. Oh, this dig dirt, bitch. Dig dirt. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, we got Woo! this one. Yip, yip. This seems like it was made. Uh, play the 23 second, like made in a phone editor video. That's this one. All right. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Look at this. Is that project? Is that Are you going to pause any of it? the fuck you're just gonna play the whole video i mean first of all no. i just no. have to see the beautiful no. graphics no let's go back to the beautiful no. graphics just fucking pause constantly okay look at that <laughs> it's like in projectus see it's the same it's the same thing it is as the projectus thing how many of these fucking how many of this award has eric been to and sat there and hoped he would win Maybe it's, it's got to be more than one time, right? Because this is literally the press conference in the Irish short. He's at least gone to a few of these sort of like business ceremonies in order to have caught. I was like, what is he copying? It doesn't even look like a press conference from a CW show. This is what he's copying. Oh, he's doing like a businessman award ceremony. I have a theory. Hmm. I have a theory that because the uh, Yaira trailer looks so much like this uh, go out going right over here. That that's why they gave him the award because it looks so much <laughs> like what's no, going on here. No, they gave him the award because he filed for the award. Oh, had like one of his employees nominate him or some shit. Okay, and because he's made so much money in comics that they can write like they can they can just write like blurbs like oh he made three point seven million dollars on his first comic and that makes people think he's impressive. The yep. whole th that's why these guys keep a uh, LinkedIn. And an IMDb so they can pretend that their YouTube videos are productorial credits because they're all trying to break into like a different industry than they're in. Eric's trying to become like the CEO of Amway <laughs> and fucking the Saskas are just trying to make movies. And that's that's the critical drinker guy and Melanie Max. They're all just trying to make like some kind of a jump to Hollywood. What is when it? When the pendulum swings back, they think. What is it with people just trying to do something that they're not in at the moment? Like, what? The I don't know. You have that problem. You're a uh, retard, too. Yeah. You're always like, I want to do something else. Like, I want to I want to do this or that. And it's like, you should just do what you're doing because it's working. Yeah. And that's what I do. I say things and do things and they're different things. That's what it is. It is. Well, that sucks. Uh, He should have worn his best tank top you know like on all the streams uh he was on a stream with all these guys like on a discord or not a discord sorry like uh like a zoom? Yards, probably yeah like a zoom that's yeah. what it's called yeah, yeah like a zoom call with all these boomers and uh and he was wearing just like a regular black t-shirt so he was still dressed down <laughs> and i think he probably felt a little self-conscious about it <laughs> because he's so dressed up in this one right what is he or wearing? Or vice versa. I don't know which one took place first. I'm muddy on the timeline. So. Okay, let's. Uh... Chris, they'll let us know. Yeah, keep looking through this. Oh. Why is it like good <laughs> moments like that? Look at uh, what is what is Look it called that. when you have like a flower on your chest? A concierge? Like at prom or something? What? Like, why does he have a big ass flower on his chest? What's up with the big ass flower? What is he trying to attract bees to his chest? What? <laughs> I'm just curious why he has a big ass flower on his chest. Do you not see the flower here? Like the Joker. The Joker has one. You can squeeze it and it shoots acid. Yeah, but this one if doesn't. You, if you obviously. squeeze Eric's, it's a it plays audio from the band backwards. <laughs> or it says them ho ass roads. You know? Oh, it's a like corsage. That. Okay. Thank you. Fucking mint salad. Don't <laughs> help her anymore, chat. We've given up on mint. We're not here to help mint salad make her way through the world anymore. It's to make his shoulder hair smell better. It's like a <laughs> breeze for his shoulder yeah. hair. Well, look how hard he's trying to hide that disgusting, freakish shoulder hair that I've been pointing out. <laughs> yeah. He understands that it's a bad look. That's why he's dressed like this. But he can't give me the satisfaction of shaving his fucking arms. Shave your fucking arms, Eric! All right. Uh, how many people are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine people. What is Ten. this? A Yaira? Eleven. What is this? A, a press conference to announce the Projectus' new employee? Sally is there. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Look at this. It's exactly the same thing. Outstanding. Keep going. 
Dude, look at all this like implication that Eric delivered a video speech, like a speech that's on video that we're gonna make fun of at some point. Because he's up there, he's he's accepting his award, he's clapping. Like maybe look at this. Hit play. It implies he spoke. Look, he's like giving lecture, like, hey, you two can make comic books if you just stop being the CCO of a Fortune 500 company. And you just instead grift on a comic book audience that have been very, very abused by people like me and my SJW infiltrating friends. <laughs> They're very weak right now and vulnerable. You can just come in and make and make a comic book. Keanu Reeves made a comic book, actually. <laughs> That's what I imagine. He's like, you guys, you have all heard of, of Keanu Reeves, right? Do you know he does a comic book? <laughs> I have a comic book like that, but but I'm more famous because my comic book, my comic book sold a lot of money <laughs> on my website <laughs> where I list off how much money it sold. I, 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 they're not verifiable. I don't even believe him anymore. I don't believe him. It's all fake. Is that a bolo tie? Yes. He's wearing a fucking bolo tie. He's wearing a, he's wearing a full fucking cowboy hat. Texas. He's probably got spurs on. We just can't see it from this angle. <laughs> He's like cowboy boots on. Yeah. He rode in on a horse. He rode in on horse yeah. man. He rode in on on Chuck Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we, that's Eric. This is so embarrassing for your employees that you're like the top of their food chain. The only person I can compare this to is Elon Musk wearing a stupid cowboy hat and being <laughs> laughed at. Yeah. It's like you guys are not characters from Yellowstone. You have to reel it in a little bit. Um, why not just wear a bandana? Yeah. Why not? Why not just wear a bandolier and <laughs> and have a rifle in your hands? You know, you gotta you gotta go hunting right after the he look he's trying to act like a like a Red Dead Redemption player, but he's too good for everywhere except for Saint Denis. Ah. Okay. Oh yeah, more people. One, two, three, four, nah, five, six, seven, eight. It's, it's, it's like, the same it's like eleven. Like four tables of people. You've been to a convention hall. Room. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. Like, a, like a you get too like many games or something. You know, like yeah, the hotel convention okay. room and there's tables everywhere and you're eating. Well, um, this is like they're doing a banquet dinner there to celebrate their awards and achievements. This is so funny because all these guys think that the Oscars are bullshit because it's just people. Uh, awarding people that they like for doing stuff. Yeah. That they've like made up categories for. And so is this. <laughs> Who fucking gives a shit about the Northwood University Young Business Award? Young entrepreneur in business. Like he's, he's 34 now. He's not even that young. You don't qualify for the 30 under 30, Eric. You fucking missed, dude. <laughs> you suck. You're nothing. You're not a prodigy at all. You fucking lucked into something in your mid 30s. You will never have this success again. You never had it before. You're nothing. You didn't do it on purpose. So you can't recreate it when this dies. You're going to flounder and we're all going to laugh at you for the next 20 fucking years. Mm -hmm. This show is going to be here for like 15 fucking years, Eric. Just laughing at you, dude. Whew. Look how meteoric his fall is going to be. Why is he dressing like this? He's making it too easy. <laughs> Honestly, between Trash Cast and all these other shows... I don't even need to do the show more than three times a week because he's constantly being ridiculed uh, because he keeps behaving like this in public. And he decides to keep behaving like this in public. Yeah, he after likes the it. Fact. He wants to do it. Yeah. Look at him go. Look at him fucking. Is he clapping? It's like this. Oh, he's clapping. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look I can't wait to find out the context of these screen grabs from this video. Is he clapping for himself? Why is he standing up there at the podium and clapping? Yeah, why would he do that? Who did he? Did he shout somebody out and then clap for them? A shout out to the Saskia sisters. Shout out Subway for getting me here. So <laughs> shout out Subway Catering for getting me the Young Business Award. <laughs> You're not young. You're an old man, Eric. Clapping for yourself is so cringe. Holy shit, I know. I can't wait to find out the context of these screen moments. Oh, there's all the people up there. Like, oh, the, he's in action. He's in action speaking. Look, he's so fat in the face. Look at this chubby little doughboy. Holy shit, dude. Your mouth looks like it's already full of semen. <laughs> 
Oh, he's yeah, so he's fat. giving like a profound speech, and he is very fat. Look at the beard trying to hide how fat he is. You can see in as, his cheeks. As you can tell from my intro here on the show, I haven't shaved since August. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm going to grow my beard out like a hobo. It looks like your beard is Eric as shaves. long as Eric's now. Well, because he keeps trimming. He, he thinks his looks good. He's like trimming it, it to look like that on purpose. Okay. But it just looks like a hedge. <laughs> yeah, it does. It looks hedgy. He's hedging his bets. Oh, I get it. He's afraid that if he cuts it off, it won't grow back. Because <laughs> he's old and balding. Oh, look at him. Look at that. He's accepting the award. He's with... gesticulating. <laughs> like, constantly. Like, it must have been a very hyperactive 34 seconds on stage for there to be 15 fucking screenshots of interesting moments from it. <laughs> or he was on stage for a few minutes. I can't wait till they drop this video. I love it. <laughs> Eric July. Whoa. 2024. You think this was made this was uploaded to the Ripover channel? Was this made by the boomers at the college or the university? Or do you think this is made by one of them on the team and they just really didn't care? One of uh, this sucks. I mean it's boomers, fuck. Maybe it was made to appeal to the boomers. Yeah. Eric's such an expert grifter. We need we need all of them screen transitions. We need transition after transition after transition in between genuinely photos. Genuinely sucks. This yeah. genuinely sucks. Yeah, it's just so transparently, like, it just looks bad. Uh, Richard Devos. Okay, here's Richard a Devos. Yeah. bigger shot of the That's crowd. That's the award. Uh, he, he co-founded Amway, uh, the multi-level marketing scheme company. Uh, he literally got the MLM award. <laughs> hey, man, you're the, you're the greatest scam artist of 2024. Congrats. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Young Entrepreneur Award. What you think they young? gave him the Young Entrepreneur Award because it's like in his name, Young Rippa? <laughs> so they don't realize he's he's over the hill. Yeah. Once you're older than 30, you're fucking a you're a walking corpse, dude. Your opinion means almost nothing to me. The amount of time you have left to impact the world is almost over, uh, if not already over. Old people are like spectators in a coliseum full of 20-year-olds like Greta Thunberg who are going to actively ruin the world, you know? Yeah. Or actively right. save the world. It depends on how you feel about these people. Your Nick Fuentes is and your, uh, your, your QAnon shaman. That guy's got to be like 30 when it happened, right? You don't, you don't get a 60-year-old QAnon shaman. No. The, no. You have to be young. Kyle Rittenhouse, for example. Couldn't be it's young 35. people. They're making waves. They're changing things, you know? Yeah. Nerd Roddick, he, he's old now. He's not going to be selling meth to anybody and making the news <laughs> and going to jail and coming back to grow a big YouTube channel. All of channel. his clients grew up. He's already grew a big YouTube channel. <laughs> and all of his, yeah, all of his drug clients, they're all in their mid-20s now. Yeah. <laughs> Northwood University. What is young about a 33-year-old? Who like has a successful business? Do they give do they give young entrepreneur awards out to like thirty four year olds with restaurants? What the fuck is he made four million dollars? I I get it, but that's I mean like what Sneeko makes that doesn't he? I'm really just not impressed by how much money Eric July has made, and everyone in the world seems so fucking impressed by it. But it's uh, almost nothing compared to what can be made. So it just doesn't mean anything to me. Like whether you're like an oil rigger or a Twitch streamer, plenty of people can make that much money in the span of four years and spend a lot less uh, money on overhead than Eric has had to. Yeah. In order to achieve that income. That's true. That... Uh, <laughs> whatever. Oh, we have uh, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of videos to cover. Eric yeah. has posted so many videos. This is what it is. Let's keep let's what it isn't. Uh, I guess it is. Uh... Uh, what it I is. I want to watch that. What it is. This is not an overblown reaction. I literally didn't mean to click. I don't care. Next video. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I got a few videos to choose from. Um. No, just the next one. Be happy. Yes. Okay. Is that the next? Yeah. That's Personally. Oh, my That's God. That's how videos work on this show. We just do them in chronological order. All right. 
Uh, I'd like to personally thank Northwood University for awarding me this year's Richard DeVos Young Entrepreneur Award. I had an unbelievable time at the Outstanding Business Awards and it was an unforgettable experience. The people of Northwood are incredible. Now, we were strategic in this. Before we said anything publicly about the award, there was nothing but positive things being said online because Northwood had already announced it. I purposely waited until after the award show weekend before I said anything about about it on social media. This is because we rightfully assume that there would then be a barrage of people that would target the university and pause. What? Hold on, fucking. There's a lot to unpack here. Eric, nobody fucking cares. <laughs> nobody cares about you. You fucking you. You paranoid sack of shit. Everyone, everyone who has reached out. Uh, t to make fun of them for having you on. Those are people who were just going to make fun of them after they had you on. You didn't avoid any other timeline in which people got you canceled or people made fun of you before you got the award. Nobody's following your day-to-day -day activities or, or like really invested in you. And I'm, and Hey buddy, I'm the most invested person in you in the whole world. And I'm telling you this. Guys like EVS and these people on Twitter, they're just observing the mistakes that you volunteer every day. Uh, and even people like me who are actively trying to ruin your business don't fucking care about some boomer college giving you an award. If you hadn't dressed like a cartoon character, nobody would be talking about it at all. <laughs> okay, you unimportant sack of shit. Uh, Eric is more paranoid than Matt Barr, says Jack. He's doing this victim narrative thing he used to do with uh, Monetize Your Haters where he has to get his audience riled up against an enemy. That's the reason that he, he originally fought the ministry so hard. That's the reason he immediately painted Dick and Vito out as being responsible for that lawsuit because he needs his audience in the comments and on Twitter to agree that they have a common enemy. And today he's decided the common enemy is anybody making fun of him for this appearance, but nobody did anything to him. So if he's about to show a bunch of screenshots of people making fun of him being, let's see, let's see where he's going with this because he's building a victim narrative in this video. Ultimately harass them. This further highlights that for some reason, people speaking positively about me. Was there any the harassment there? No, it was just, it was like just someone saying there's harassment. Targeted harassment. They are now going after the university. Mm. This is also cancel culture tactics. Yeah, tactics. But show me now in the edit, you show me the example, right? Go ahead and show me. Harass them. This further highlights that for some reason, people speaking positively about me or the company. Uh, well, what does this say? Ah, uh, I was just enjoying watching the comments that people were writing on at Northwood University Instagram under Scammer Eric's posts. Bro, cancel culture is not leaving Instagram comments. <laughs> okay, cancel culture is when an institutionalized thought pattern of a group of people that you have, uh, like you yourself know this, uh, when, when a huge group of people with an institutionalized pattern of groupthink go after a target and exclude him from, you know, basically existing, that's cancel culture. It's not making fun of you for wearing a stupid suit at a dumb event. <laughs> uh, and like, yeah, they lock their Instagram. Th this is how it works you know they have you on people make fun of you for going on then they lock their instagram comments this is not a harassment mob eric you sound like a woman <laughs> right now bro i mean you always kind of sound like a woman because you were raised by a single mother without yeah. a father in your life but you especially sound like a woman about this you're not a victim eric july what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> victim verse <laughs> brings out such anger in people People are free to dislike me or the material of the Ripperverse. They are obviously free to converse about their feelings. I'm free to do whatever I want without your permission. I'm also free to fucking go to Northwood University and I'm free to cause trouble there because you've been awarded by them. There's in no way some safety net around this fucking school being contacted by other people just because they were involved with you either way. That is to say, I could have fucked with Northwood University and left mean Instagram comments before you were involved with them, Eric. And none of it is fucking a targeted harassment mob, you fucking schizo. How the fuck did you go this long on the internet doing this to other people and you still don't understand?
Your whole career is built on the backbone of you doing what we're doing to you, but to retards on monetize your haters and to companies that will never reply to you and to the weakest uh, CGI in a $20 million season of television. And you're like, oh, let me nitpick this scene. Oh, you guys got to be nice about Yaira. Come the fuck on, dude. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. What the fuck are we doing here? But this isn't at all what this is. Some have made it a point to target the people. Oh, what does this one say? Oh, what's this target? Uh, Some they have made it a point to target the people. We're targeting them. <laughs> They've done it on both pictures of Eric now. Hey. Commented? <laughs> commented on the pictures? Hey, at Northwood University, you should really do your homework before dishing out trinkets to snake oil salesmen. That's funny. Yeah. He is that. The fuck are we talking about? This is slander. This is harassment. Oh, they've closed comments because comments were making fun of them. <laughs> or you. I You. Eric, why'd you involve yourself with these people if you didn't want them to be harassed? Why don't you ask yourself that? Why are you poisoning everyone around you if you don't want them to be involved in your bullshit? Okay? Because if you're Israel and we're Palestine, the smartest thing for you to do would be to stop seeking relief. Stop trying to build allies up because it's going to strengthen the war against you. It's just going to be like, you don't need the quartering to have your back. You need to be a good enough friend to go, hey, hey, Jeremy, just, uh, just lay off. Hey, Yellow Flash, don't delete the Comics Gate Green Room or, uh, or the fucking Comics Gate Twitter room, uh, yeah. group. Yeah, that. It's just like shit like that. Like if Eric was, uh, if Eric was really in the position he thinks he's in, uh, you would think that he would be telling people to fucking like back off of this whole thing. Instead, he's going around forcing people to pick sides, stoking the fires behind the scenes. Him and his fans are running like ops to try to convince other creators that they have to take a side one way or the other. When people like Camelot and Anna don't need to take a side at all. They're just streaming. They're just talking about their day and painting or whatever Anna does. Yeah. What the fuck does that have to do with this Eric July stuff? And it's because Eric can't address Dick Masterson, Ethan Van Skyver, Frog Tony, or I. Target the people that praise or acknowledge us. They even go as far as to brag yes. about doing so. If I appear on a stream or event, no matter how big or small, you have those that are oh, very- Oh, really? Really? I came to MegaCon, did I? I gave you uh, the benefit of the doubt. I let you enjoy one event, Eric. Never, ever again, I will go fucking bankrupt, Eric, to make sure that you never enjoy another weekend at a convention. Because if comics gates aren't allowed to, but you and Mark Brooks are, that makes me very angry. Aggressive. And I'm a fucking psychopath, Eric. You have no idea. Very aggressive. I'm willing to go to jail, and I haven't even had to do that yet. All, you have those that are very aggressive and going after other people. It's as if they either want me demoralized or they want to make it uncomfortable yes. for others. You yes. Yes, that is what I want. And that's what's going to happen, too. It's going to be completely demoralizing and uncomfortable for anybody to associate with you. That's what happens to lol cows. What do you think happens when someone like Josh Moon wants to hang out with his friend, the mom rapist, Chris Chan? You think that everybody makes it very comfortable for him? No, and you shouldn't. You should I mean, it's totally, uh, it's very valid. It's very, uh, it's a, it's a very, uh, it's what Eric would want too. It's like a, it's like meritocracy. It's like social merit, merit, you know, people who are like absolute losers get ridiculed and treated like shit and bullied. But Eric, nobody's taking your shipping company from you. Nobody's trying to like outbid your, your lease on your warehouse. Nobody's doing anything that could cancel you or affect your business in any meaningful way. Everybody's just making fun of what you're saying and putting out in public. So if you don't understand that, you're feeding this by existing. Dude, just fucking delete your Twitter account. Literally just use it to promo stuff that you're selling and just stop talking to people. Don't argue with people like Vaughn who have a better track record in indie art than you do. <laughs> You should really do your homework, says it all. The goal is to discourage people from having anything to do with me. Ironically, this behavior sometimes even comes from those that are anti-cancel culture. I don't think creating a comic book- Where's your video about C2E2, Eric? 
Where's your fucking video saying that you have more integrity than the common skate people and that you're going to talk about C2E2 even if they're going to fight with you? Oh, that's not a video you have because you don't actually care and anybody laughing at you for going to this fucking event is not trying to cancel you, you moron? I have yet to see any example of anyone going after the university. Telling them they need to background check better isn't going after It's them. also a joke. It was like uh, that wasn't a... A serious inquiry from someone concerned about his presence on the panel or in, in the award ceremony. It was someone who was like, like, uh, you know, haha, if you, if you had looked him up, you would have seen us all making fun of him. It's not like a real thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's wrong with people who they see text on screen and go, this is reality. <laughs> this really is. It's real. It, it exists. The person who said it means it and they can act on it. <laughs> company that you dislike or think is terrible or think I'm undeserving warrants such behavior. It, has it warrants worse behavior. It warrants way, way worse behavior, Eric. And now you're going to receive it. I'm so sick of all you people. You, the Whisper Network in comics, you're all going to be on the receiving end of my backlash because you deserve it. And nobody else is in the position to stand up and deal to you the cards that you fucking deserve, Eric. Evoke such bizarre responses. People have gone after my wife, ancestors' grave, docs the house, going after my business, and you. Docs your house. Oh shit! I didn't tell anybody about the Manaheim address. But I don't have to not tell anybody either, Eric July. Point to me where somebody docks your house. I went to your business. Uh, I'm sure that everybody now knows where that warehouse is and exactly how many gates there are. <laughs> Eric. Oh, we went after your wife, Toria. Fucking Tori, Victoria. She was on several streams larger than any stream I've ever been on. She's more of a public figure than me. think that I was some sort of criminal. And as a commentator, I've said both- You are a criminal. You threatened to kill me for putting a sticker on a window. <laughs> Positive and negative things about, for example, Marvel and DC. But I come from the perspective of a fan, which is an important distinction to make and not a hater. Oh, there's and distinctions I would now. Never he says he's gatekeeping who is a fan and who is a hater. You know, he's not a hater of Marvel and DC. He's just such a big fan of Marvel that him hating on Marvel all the time is him showing his love for Marvel. Right, guys? Well, Min Salad was a huge Yara fan until the trailer sucked. Yeah, and now I'm just like... They ruined the character fuck. design. Yeah, they surely did. They took her out of the workout outfit to put her in a, like a, a boobie-less hoodie. Sexy. Yeah, they just ruined the character. Man, you were uh, like genuinely going to give Yara a chance. Yeah, I was. I was. I was. I was. I was so excited. I wanted. I wanted Yara to be a thing. I wanted Yara, and then Eric July and the Sasu sisters dropped the Yara trailer, and they smash her. You into guys the ruined the source material. You changed the color of the car, and now Mint can't appreciate the comic books. <sighs> Do you understand, Eric? You ruined it the same way that Marvel ruined all of their stuff. You just did it on a way shorter timeline, Eric. <laughs> and I would never constantly go after people for simply saying good things about a book. I for sure wouldn't encourage. I love the lying and the, the double speak and the diminishing and the. Okay. So he just said that he would never go after anybody for saying positive things about a book. That's not what's happening. <laughs> uh, anybody that I, I have gone after. Or, uh, were people who were promoting your book without having read it and people who specifically like ignore the fact that you are ripping off the people who you're lying to. Uh, I don't care about people who like the 3D assets, whatever. They can enjoy your 3D asset comic books. But hundreds of people just didn't believe anyone when they first started noticing that they were 3D assets. They would say, no, that's not true. And then you would say, yeah, that's not true. And now it's a joke that you're willing to joke about and admit because of how true it was. <laughs> The problem that we have is that you're a lying piece of shit, Eric July. Was to go harass them. I also would not direct my audience to go do the same thing. He is thing. directing them right there. 
that right there. I would not direct my audience to go do the same thing with that tight zoom in. That's him telling Sturgis and LG that they're good boys and to keep it up mm-hmm. and to do the same thing. And harassing those just because they liked something that I disliked. There's a difference in saying that you dislike something or even doing videos on it. And God, constantly- dude, the critics conundrum, right? As soon as you yourself create something that's trash and everybody fucking hates it, you become like, oh, whoa, bro. There's a difference between saying you don't like something and saying that something is really bad and shouldn't exist and it sucks and I don't like it. <laughs> I-, I was just saying in my Marvel videos about, I was just saying in my 16 Captain Marvel videos that I didn't like it. I wasn't saying anything should be done about it or that the company should reconsider their behavior or that Brie Larson should lose her job or that they should make better movies or that they shouldn't make movies at all if they're going to ruin the characters. All I was saying was that I didn't like it. And all I did was say that 17 times, 24 times, 90 times on my YouTube channel and various live streams. It's not that I don't like gay people or or, uh, it's not that I don't want the gay people in the shows. I'm just saying I don't like it. No, Eric, we all hate you. And we want you to not be in our media. And you force yourself into the public consciousness and into the media of the culture war. You didn't have to do that. You could have sat on the sidelines like the limp dick cuck that you actually are. And you could have watched better people than you try and fail to make good art. Instead, you threw your fucking shitty hat and a bowl of tie right into the ring. And now you're making the shitty art that we're all making fun of and ripping apart. Okay, Ripa? Grow the fuck up and learn to deal with it. Your life is going to be a living hell. Just get over it. Hire some hell monkeys. On it and constantly targeting innocent parties because they found I enjoy- fight for you. Hire Sturgis to be your first official Ripper, Ripperverse warehouse hell monkey and have him stand outside instead of paying for 24 hour security <laughs> because you never know when I'm going to show up again. I think I'm going to come twice this year now. I'm going to come by two times. I think I shouldn't have let you off on Megacon. You got too comfortable, Eric. And I'm here to commit actionable crimes against you and scare you, intimidate you, and threaten you. This right here, this is violence verbally that I'm doing. This is an act of violence and and stalking. We're all on a group stalk. Everyone watching right now is implicit in stalking you, Eric. (laughs) We're all showing up outside of your house tomorrow morning. We're all going to be at the next Comic-Con you go to. All, all 124 24 of us. We're all in your closet right now, Eric. You better be loading that gun you keep for home security because we're inside of your house. All 124 of us are inside of your house right now, Eric. <laughs> Constantly targeting innocent parties because they found enjoyment or came to a different conclusion than you did. Nerd culture Bro, is even a bad... You're a psychopath. You're saying that you shouldn't be attacking people for liking different things. You keep a blacklist that you put people like Cody on because people like Nick Ricada like don't think you should kill me. What happened with that was uh, Cody is still dealing with this like fucking rip retard wave of cancel culture attempts, right? These people are actually going to NASCAR and, and ARCA and like complaining and trying to get Cody kicked out of the sport because of the uh, cyber frog rap on his car. You understand? This is actual cancel culture. This is not making fun of like Cody for losing a race with a cyber car on or something. This is actually trying to preemptively stop him from doing a dream of his that he's working on right now. Like that's cancel culture, right, folks? And uh, and Eric July ha- is never going to say anything about that at all. He'll never denounce it. He'll never. And it's, he's not responsible for anything that people who watch him do or say, but he is responsible for making this video where he says that people on the other side shouldn't be making fun of him or trying to cancel him, but he'll never tell his own people not to behave this way. In fact, he'll say, I would never tell my people to do this, which is like fucking telling them to do it because they're all retarded. And they think that you guys have some kind of a secret communication going on, Eric. Cody's dealing with all this and Cody's dealing with all this because Nick Ricada and Cody have done a bunch of streams together and Nick dared go on Cody's stream after the infamous Eric and Nick stream. And I super chat Cody like 200 bucks to play my new music video at the time, the clip and rip a diss track. And then Cody was obviously put on a detractors list because Eric has like this guilt by association tweak in him where like he saw that I enjoy Cody you're you've been on Cody's show you like him yeah I've just watched his show I I don't know him but you you do yeah um and we met him in Nashville in Tennessee at Nick's show yeah I gave him Uh, Advil although I never again I never talked to him so I didn't really meet him you did 
Yes, I did. Um, so I just think he's a cool guy. So I was willing to super chat while Nick was on his show. You know me. I like to super chat my friend's shows. Or if there's an opportunity where I can support a couple creators I like, then I'll send some money at the stream. You do the same. The The idea uh, was just to have like them laugh at the song being bad. And they did. And they made fun of the song and stuff. Yeah. Um, and then Eric obviously blacklisted him for that, which is fucking insane. That is, And weird. I wouldn't have super chatted if I knew that's what was going to happen. I don't understand, like, like Eric's brain, right? He tells one guy, like, that J3PO, like, yeah, take the money. Haters can hate. But then F&T, they, they block my Super Chats entirely. And then, like, Eric will blacklist other people for getting Super Chats from me. Kind of like Matt Barr. He just freaks out and gets mad at people who take money from you. Yeah, I I don't like it. I don't like his behavior. It's too, it's too unpredictable. It's like paranoid and schizotypal. Yeah. Yeah arguing over things that outsiders would find insignificant, but it was always out of fun. This is malice. Treating it like they are the <laughs> same thing is disingenuous. The uh, thing what I was doing was fun. My 2 million views attacking the CW show, that was really fun for me. This, this is malice because I'm not having any fun at all. <laughs> Come on, Eric. You just ignore it, dude. Holy shit. This makes, uh, he wants us to feel bad for him. He's like Boogie. He's uh, like a covert narcissist. I don't dude. feel bad at all. Come on, Eric. You're really crying on webcam, bro? For real, for real? God damn. He is acting like he's a paragon of virtue. It does seem like that. The thing about cancellation, though, is that maybe people on any side of the political aisle just start to think about how they contribute to it. There are cancel pigs to the left and to the right. Some people can withstand the attempts, but being able to hold steady does not negate the intentions of those that will lie, defame, and target others. We've seen what? What? He, what? He, just, he just lied and defamed. Chat, chat, you just, did you see that? He's lying and defamed. He's complaining about li people lying and defaming about him, and there he did. Lied and defamed. Oh. It looks like when the council pigs are successful and many will act as if they did nothing to participate in it. Some just have different breaking points and others laid the foundation. Wait, wait, wait. I missed something. What the fuck, Eric? In it. Some just have different breaking Bro, he's saying he's going to fucking kill himself like Ed Piscor if Ethan doesn't stop making fun of him. He's saying, I'm going to kill myself like Ed Piscor if Ethan doesn't stop making fun of me. That's the translation of this video. Holy shit, EVS, keep it up, dude. <laughs> he will act as if they did nothing to participate in it. If Eric, if Eric ever does kill himself, I'll buy the I'm Done Dude shirt from Dick Masterson as a trophy. <laughs> it's $5,000 in his shirt store. And I'll buy it in proxy on behalf of Eric. And I'll wear it when I, when I think about Eric's death. <laughs> not that I want Eric to kill himself. I want content forever. I want to be able to do this show for the next 20 years. But if Eric does kill himself, I'm just going to remember his video about Mike, uh, about a uh, Lincoln park about Chester Bennington kill him, killing himself. Yeah. And how he said that it, uh, it might've been a better idea for him to be great <laughs> and be strong instead of killing himself. <laughs> I'm just going to remember that <laughs> if Eric ever does kill himself. <laughs> okay. He's like, some people have different... This is what the cancel pigs try to do. Some people have different breaking points. He's saying that he's stronger than Ed Piscor, but that he's not immune to, to what he views as cancel pigs. Which, by the way, guys, it's people... It's three or four people leaving mean comments on the Instagram account of a school that he does not have any involvement with other than in that he received an award from there because he nominated himself to receive the award. This fucking guy. I'm going to kill myself if he thinks he's making fun of me. Uh, <laughs> holy shit. Some just have different breaking points and others laid the foundation to be able to thwart the attempts. Go back Again. a little. Oh, goodness. All right. Act as if they did nothing to participate in it. Some just have different breaking points and others laid the foundation to be able to thwart the attempts. Again. Oh, wait. This is not some have a different breaking point, right? And he said, and some lay the foundation to be, to be able to thwart the attempts. What? So maybe he laid the foundation to be able to thwart the the attempts. 
Yeah, but like foundation can be bad. You could have fat bad His foundation, foundation is bad. His yeah. foundation is rotted to the core and needs to be replaced. <laughs> His foundation is isom. So <laughs> he nominated himself for real. Uh, how how do you think these things happen? Someone nominated him. His artist just happens to get the opportunity to do art for them at the same time. I wish Mint had pulled that in, but she's incompetent. I fucking hope Katie did can put together some kind of edit about it. It's important information to have all that in one place, but Mint Salad sucks. Um, someone nominated him. Why wasn't it his own company? Who else was it? Who nominated him? For the Northwood University Young Entrepreneur, th- is Caro probably submit the application and Eric accepted it. Yeah, that is a little bit of a This strange. is a nothing. These are just yeah. people awarding themselves for things that they're doing. It means nothing. No award show means anything. It's all fucking garbage. It's not an accolade at all. The award only matters if you... Uh, Who cares? If no you, awards you, matter at all. They don't mean anything. Actually, yeah, they don't matter at all. They only matter if you give it meaning, and that's that's like you. And I refuse to do that. I'm not giving this award any meaning yeah. at all. Eric is not young. He's not an entrepreneur. He's an entrepreneur older. And he's not in business. He's in business. So he's totally not. The only part of this award he's applicable for is the Richard Davos part. What about people voicing their opinions about me or the company? But having animosity or malicious behavior towards innocence, that's not cool. Now, I'm sorry. Having animosity uh, towards innocence, that's not cool. He's in the, the coping stage of being trolled online where he has to start trying to barter. Like, hey, guys, please, it's, it's really not cool that you're making fun of my wife who's been on 25K streams. Uh, she's a very secretive behind-the-scenes figure who I was never trying to make famous before my comic book company took off. Uh, and I definitely don't put her jewelry ads in my comic books. So since I'm not bringing her up, you have no reason to. <laughs> he's soft voice, compassionate Eric now. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to like manipulate. I don't know. The problem with this video is usually his videos are a rally, cro- uh, like a rally for his uh, audience. I, this yeah. doesn't. I don't, this isn't really rallying his audience. It seems to be trying to negotiate with Ethan's. Like, hey, you guys, please just stop making fun. I'm a real guy. And look, it's the cancel culture thing. And and, and some people have, have different limits than others, okay? Please stop bullying me or I might kill myself, he's saying. <laughs> this this is like uh this is like the intersection between Eric July and Vito. <laughs> it's like I might I might kill myself <laughs> though. Oh my god. But it's malicious, like boogie. I want to see him cry. Come on, cry, Eric. Cry. Come on, cry. come on, Eric. This will make you a true victim is if you cry. Let's go. That Northwood has to deal with this, but I'm thankful for the award and the fact that they are sticking by it. I'm incredibly blessed. And Why I'm would they not forward- stick by it? It's not. It, it's meaningless. And they've already done the paperwork on it. They've already like engraved it somewhere. Why would they not stick by it? Do you, again, this guy thinks that getting an award from a not prestigious, not well-known business university, which are a dime a dozen. Most fucking schools are probably business schools. It's a nothing degree that anyone can achieve. Yeah. And Eric July is over here thinking that he's important for having received this and that he's like, he's under so much scrutiny online that they would be under pressure to remove his award. And thank God they didn't that shows that they're standing against cancel culture. It's all so fictional and bullshit. It's like fucking nothing. This is so fucking lame, Eric. This is like something that uh, like a Tate brother would make. Honestly, I'm surprised he, it took but him fatter, this long to make fatter. this video. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it would take him a lot longer. Like he, he would never concede. He, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what you mean. Yeah. You phrased it like you thought it would happen sooner. No, no, no. I don't think it. I actually think it would happen later. Like, yeah, this is like almost uh, an admission of defeat. Like, hey, please, guys, I'm such a fucking little loser. Uh, I, I'm helpless to do anything about this. I'm asking you now, please stop bullying me. <laughs> please leave the innocence out of this. It's like, dude, you, you cancel people over guilt by association. You let Az scream at Nina and kick her off the show. Because you're mad that Nina started all this. 
You've been boiling at her the entire time. She's probably immediately put on the detractors list for not having read your book. But Eric, spoiler alert, none of your friends read your book. Nerdrotic, Critical Drinker, they didn't read your book. No. To returning to the campus, they left me as inspired as I've ever been because my focus is my business and family. I no longer get in the trenches of online commentary. I appreciate all of you, though, that go to bat for me and defend. There it is. That's the rally. That's the rallying cry. I, because of my family obligations and I'm weak and scared and pathetic and I'm in danger and I need to be protected. I have stopped engaging in the trenches of internet comment warfare. I'm <laughs> retired. I'm, I'm now a veteran of the meme war. Katie did's calling bullshit. This fucking loser. And then right here he says, but I appreciate, I, guys, I appreciate those of you who fight my fights for me. <laughs> Roll that back. He's fucking begging Sturgis to pick up the pace. Focus. Keep distracting them from me. Please, Sturgis. <laughs> Is my business and family. I no longer get in the trenches of online commentary. What the I fuck are you talking all- about? You just got in the trenches with terror in the trenches. Is Ron. <laughs> Ron Klaus. What are you fucking talking about? You goldfish ass, brain ass haver. Uh, Eric almost sounds like modern day Maddox right now yeah. a little bit. Is Eric going to mention his livelihood? He has done that already. He, I think he mentioned his livelihood in the video about me. Yeah, he did. I appreciate all of you, though, that go to bat for me and defend me against these lies and slander. And to the Lies aspiring- and slander. <laughs> Those are legal words. Lies and slander. Sue somebody, bitch. Sue somebody, bitch. Let's go. Teach me how to doggy right out of court with your fucking money for my attorney fees. Teach Vito and Dick the same lesson. Come on. Sue everybody. Give us all a lawsuit individually or together. It doesn't matter. So we can take some money from you. <laughs> We've been doing that for six months anyway. Speaking of money, Gates, uh, Gates, Gates of, of above. above for $5 says, So grateful to win the bidness of the year, even though my business is losing customers and money every new project, it is what it is. It is so grateful to win it now because he won't be eligible any year in the future. He's like, fuck, I'm not young nor running a successful business anymore. I should have applied for to give myself a, a an award circuit last year when I had more money. <laughs> What's funny is he got cocky when he got all big. He stopped going around and promoting. And yeah. now he's like nothing. He's like falling fast and he can't go around and promote because he didn't. <laughs> he should have taken his happy little ass to Tim cast for every single comic book, but he's too good for that. So he didn't have to. Instead he was flying to Vancouver to fuck the Saska sisters. As you do. And to the aspiring creatives out there, remember, yes, I am to me. not in your way. I don't have monopoly on the market. No, you're not in my way. You don't have even the board game monopoly. You can't afford it with your warehouse overhead, asshole. <laughs> this is. I agree f- with that. Is the pie fixed? Is he gonna say the pie is fixed or not? This is a fun sandbox here at the Ripperverse, and everybody's welcome Dude, to join. But- sandboxes are where cats shit and piss. Okay, it's a video game term at best. Stop fucking calling your comic book universe a sandbox. You illiterate, belligerent. I can't say that on YouTube. Everybody's welcome to join, but if you're not into it, that's cool too. We wish no harm to the independent creators out there, and there's a lot of room in this market for people to thrive. For some, it may be hard to believe, but not everybody has the same taste, nor does the world revolve around your taste. Oz, he literally thinks that anyone likes his comics. That's so fucking sad. It's, it's like when e-girls get a bunch of followers and they gas her up and tell her that she could do like any kind of content she wants or she doesn't have to work harder or this or that or that they'll be there still. And they won't be. They're lying. Uh, e-girls come and go. They're a dime a dozen. And Eric July really thinks that people are supporting uh, the comics because some people like them and not because they're all like uh, proud of their e- internet dad. But as soon as their internet dad makes videos like this and then start because the next step from here is just begging EVS like for a, for a, a conversation offline to try to like bury the hatchet or some shit. 
Because this is really desperate. This reeks of desperation. It might be the first time that like adults have said, hey, why is your behavior online leading to people spurging out on us? <laughs> right? That's, yeah. The only thing I could think is maybe he respects somebody at this fucking business award. Or because he's so mind broken, he he respects by default everybody who works at this university because they do. Right. Yeah. And so he's like, he feels like really terrible now because he's constant. He doesn't care about the YouTube fans or the people who are getting attacked by his fans, uh, feeling any type of way. He does not care about his pay picks feelings, but he probably does care about the feelings of five white guys who have a better job than him. Mm. He's probably like, Oh, these guys are my, who I'm trying to impress. I'm trying to trust these. Impress these they people. think that being involved with me is like embarrassing and cringe now. And it is Eric. And it'll continue to be so. <laughs> I'd suggest that you place more energy and effort towards building if you have those creative aspirations. Oh, we're building you, bitch. We're building on you, you fucking bitch. What a condescending thing You're to say. You're the Marvel in DC for the Clipiverse, bro, and for the trash cast. Like, you and all your friends, you're the, the zeros who get to be piled up together and stood upon. <laughs> That's just how it works now, bro. And it's your fault. Ten years from now, the the YouTube documentaries on how you became a locale, they'll all remember that you're the reason that geeks and gamers uh, had to shift into politics. You're the reason that Nerd Roddick had to uh, had to go suck off Gabe Hoffman and start making like documentary films or something. You're gonna be the reason that all of your friend group fell apart from their YouTube high tower. Because uh, honestly, it's not even that people are tired of talking about Star Wars. The views are still there. People want to complain about Star Wars. <laughs> into infinity but eric you sold everybody a bad book and then you told them all they had to say it was good and now all their credibility is shot and every day hundreds of new people wake up to this and they unsubscribe from you and your friends and they watch trash cast instead they come over they subscribe to me you're you're fucking done dude you're done and begging begging about it now won't do anything i gave you the option to apologize to me i've given you that option a lot I'll re I'll extend the offer, Eric. Eric July, if you apologize to me for false flagging me for my parody, which was completely free use because it was not only transformative but also additive. Uh, if you apologize to me for flagging me for my parody, I'll stop doing the Clipiverse show. I'll just stop. I'll stop doing for canon's sake. I'll stop efapping you. There's no substitute for work. Be easy and God bless. I thought it was be great. <laughs> be be easy. easy. God, because you can't be great. Now you have to be easy. Because that's, the that's again, back to OnlyFans Girls, which he prices his content like, which his fans have a relationship with him like, which you men have experience in. Yeah. Uh, this idea that you're supposed to be the easiest, like most lovely version of yourself instead of being great, it becomes pervasive in porn. Yeah. Girls get fat fast. Yes. They get lazy. They they don't care about what got them there in the first place. And Eric is going that route because he believes that anything he does will make money because people will pay him to live. And that's not actually the case, as he's going to find out in the next two years. What a shame. Uh, he went out with a whimper. <laughs> that, that was honestly uh, incredibly pathetic. Please, guys, please don't cancel me. Wow. Don't cancel me from, get, from dressing up in a silly... Uh, mobster costume from spirit halloween and or a dutton ranch yellowstone outfit from spirit halloween please please let me keep going in my monkey suit to these <laughs> award ceremonies <laughs> that i probably applied to all right that's our what it is segment we have cg scum lords tonight with frog tony and guests yes not sure who the guests are gonna be but mint salad you're gonna be behind us yeah i will right there on that easel of yours or whatever it's fucking called art table uh, you're going to be drawing and watercoloring something, right? Yeah. What are you going to be working on tonight? Oh, fuck. I don't know. I, I, think, I, should, I think I should do a Shotgun, shotgun Sam Samurai. Yeah, I was just thinking That's about it. That's what I was thinking, yeah. too. I should do Shotgun Good. Samurai. Good. We got to get the quaff on CG Scum Lords or, uh, or whoever, you know. Katie did, but she can only come on if she's joking about fucking dogs <laughs> or the Scum Lords. You know, we got to be the most unlikable versions of ourselves. No, oh, I get it. All right. Uh, <clears throat> let's move on to uh, you can do some promo and then men's got issues. And what time is it? Uh, it is 5 34 p.m. I want to be out at 6 30, so we may do a short clip and ripper, or we may just 
call the what it is what it is and not do a clip and rip it today. But I'm not going to let anybody know until after Mint's got issues so that they don't click away. Okay. <laughs> well, uh... So do promo. All right. Uh, it's time for the comic book news, which is just going to be the promo section. Uh, all right. Well, check this out. This is new. This is new. This new. This com. This comic book is new. Check this out. <laughs> All right. So here's the comic I am promoting today, and I have gotten this Nexus Scourge, Mike Barron's epic collision of science fiction and superhero genres, returns in a brand new adventure. Uh. Mike Barron's multiple Eisner winner, uh, winning sci-fi creation is back in an all-new story in the world of Nexus. Barron's epic collision of the science fiction and superhero genres returns in Nexus Scourge. Check this out. This is pretty freaking sweet. Uh, the hand of Nexus wields the energy of a living sun. Possessing limitless power, Nexus is the greatest Avenger in history. But his power and purpose come from an alien race with their own agenda. Is Nexus a hero or pawn? Deliverer or destroyer? God or devil? Created by Mar Mike Barron and Steve Rude, Nexus is a science fiction superhero masterpiece. And look at these colors. They are beautiful. And also this uh, composition's great too. In this brand new standalone story, Nexus faces a mysterious villain threatening all life planets are vanishing from the night sky without a trace nexus must uncover the truth behind a string of disappearing planets before the universe itself vanishes with precious few leads and almost no witnesses the odds seem stacked against survival how will nexus save the universe who look at that perspective whoa okay Facing an unknown threat, Nexus must get to the... Sorry. Facing an unknown threat, Nexus must get to the bottom of a string of disappearing planets, leaving no trace and almost no witnesses. It's clear a powerful threat is waging war on the entire universe. With all existing life being threatened and precious few leads, only Nexus can save the universe. And here's some pages for you chat what you think about this chat um um i love the coloring on this page so much this i love this the second page right here wow okay i'm i'm so hyped i've already backed this so i'm so hyped to get this featuring art and colors by kelsey shannon uh batman adventures dark fang nora's uh saga lettering by warren montgomery which is florida man fun adventure comics and written by Nexus co-creator Mike Barron, which is Nexus, the Punisher, the Flash. The stakes are higher than ever before. Whoo, the colors are beautiful. Who did the colors again? Uh, Kelsey Shannon. Great job on these colors. Uh, these are beautiful. Uh, readers will join Nexus in the fight of his life, combining mystery and universe-ending danger with the science fiction classic heroics that have always made the series unique which will appeal to longtime readers as well as science fiction comic fans who are new to the story. Ooh. A scourge presents a full hand of villainy, danger, and deceit and an exciting, vivid, full-color expansion of the world of Nexus from the creators. Oh, look at that beautiful sketch. I love that. Mike Barron. Kelsey, uh, this is a quote from him. Uh, Kelsey Shannon's art is instantly identifiable through his mastery of design, color, and composition, uh, reminiscent of Alex Toth, Darwin Cook, and Dave Stevens. Kelsey is very much in demand. I was lucky to snag him for this project and delighted with his enthusiasm for Nexus. Then we got Kelsey Shannon, and this is a quote from him. For many comic artists, the dream is to one day draw Spider-Man or Batman. But for me, it was Nexus. It is an honor and privilege to contribute to the legacy of this amazing character along with the creator himself, Mr. Mike Barron, whose imagination never leaves me wanting 
for creative ideas. And then we got some stretch goals. Uh, 10K, all physical backers receive a commemorative Nexus Scores art card. 20K, uh, receive a Kiss Out vinyl sticker. 30K, a poster with their order. 40K, uh, receive an early preview of Nexus triplets. And 50K, uh, they'll be invited to participate in a live reading and Q&A with the creative team. Nice. All right, so check... Beautiful. What do you think of, it, of this chat? We got risks and challenges. We want to be transparent. Every crowdfund encounters risks and obstacles that we may face on the way to achieving the goal. Rest assured, however, that we've successfully fulfilled campaigns before and have already established strong relationships with our American printer along with, our, with all our swag and reward vendors. We know how to get this done the right way. So here's the bundles. We got the Nexus Epic Bundle, the Digital Edition uh, OG N. Get the Autograph Bundle, the Limited Edition Autographed HC, the Scourge Retailer Bundle, and the Nexus CGC Signature Series. And that's uh, gr graded and it has a signature. So this is Nexus Chat. Uh, I'm going to pull up chat real quick to see what you guys think before I'm going to head over to Mint Scout Issues. Uh, what do you think? I, I, It's beautiful. Uh, making a Cyclops-like character is a huge plus for me. Yes, and shit, people are getting close to what I am writing. Nice. Uh, feels like you're trying to decipher some kind of ancient scripture written in a dead language. I do talk wrong. I'm getting, I'm working on my talking skills, but I, I drew before I talked. Uh, does he work for projects? <laughs> that's, that's a good, that's a good point. Uh, wow. Uh, chat just says, interesting. I get those Sentinel vibes. Nice. And that's, that's Nexus Scourge. Back it if you haven't. Back Nexus Scourge if you have not. Uh, it is beautiful. I have backed it. And now, speak. Oh, you know, I also have the Flor Florida Man books. Uh, they're behind me in a short box. Uh, I'll re review those eventually. Uh, this month, actually. This month, I will review those. And now it's time for everyone's favorite segment of the show. <laughs> that no one ever leaves the show while I do it. Uh, Mint's got issues. It's time for Mint's got issues. All right, let's actually play this. Book. I'm in salad and I got issues. I'm in salad and I got issues. Oh yeah, those are good because of all the jingle tits. Now there's none of that. I'm in salad and I got issues. And I got Just to Die number one. So I have the variant cover by Jose Garcia, and I saw this as like, ooh, look how pretty it is, right? This must be representative of the entire book. So I'm going to do this in the salad, the salad method. S for story, A for art, L for lettering, A for action, D for drama. How does this book compare? So the entire story of Just to Die... So there's like a little bit of a huge blurb at the front that explains the world building. So there's like mega corporations in the future that take children from orphanages and families that don't want them and train them to be like assassins or something um, on the behalf of the government. And so all, all and there's like no guns. So there is no guns and we're in a futuristic hellish society. And so what we got here is we have a man. We're following a man. He's walking down an, aisle, uh, an alleyway. And then there's, he approaches some drunk dudes. And his no dialogue is just start slashing them with the sword. And I'm like, what is going on? And then he starts, he fights another guy with a sword. There's a lot of sorting action. And then he kills that guy. And then, 
like by uh by by sword lots of sword and then he encounters this lady who's in a yellow coat right and then it goes to her story and then her story is just she's it seems like she's sex trafficked and she doesn't want to be in she's supposed to be having sex with a dude and then she uses this uh opportunity to an opportunity to escape and she's i oh god i have so many art questions as i go through this again um anyway so she runs down and then there's this guy who's like what are you doing even though it's like who are you question mark and th that person's trying to stop her and she's able to run away uh the people who are sex trafficking her have guards and then these guards are trying to go after her to capture to get her right and then we got we meet the man at the very beginning who had the sword this chick uh runs into him and he proceeds to do a sorting he he swords all over the place he slices and dices all these people and then uh they they walk together and then yeah they're just walking together and and then the it just ends on like he had no friends, no family, only the missions sent forth by his master in his uh, nearly two decades of life. He's only known death in blood. And that's all about to change, right? And that's like the cliffhanger or whatever. So I read this and I was like, this story isn't any. It's just a bunch of people fighting. The story starts halfway through when we have a chick who runs out of her bad situation. And then this guy is here who's been established to do a bunch of sorting, just swords the, her captives. And so I was like, all right, I okay, this story is not, I don't know. It's not, I mean, it's not a story at the beginning. And then it's, the story starts halfway through. And that's when I get engaged with this comic. So then the art, I feel like the art has to be the, when I first, uh, my first read through, I was like, man, the art is the strength of this. And that's not saying much. I mean, this art is fine. It looks kind of anime-ish. Um, there's, I don't know what resolution this person printed this on because it looks, it, it looks low resolution. Like even this big uh, logo at the front is really, really low resolution. And the entire comic book is just low resolution. It's printed low resolution. I'm like, what's going on here? Um, there are some parts where I'm like, you know, I actually quite enjoy uh, some of the blocking and uh, just overall, I think it's the, the, the actual pencil is fine. The pencil is just fine. The drawings are fine. The action, action lines could be helpful because in some of the art, I'm confused by what exactly is happening sometimes from panel to panel. Like, for example, first page, literally the first page, I flip open. There's a guy, a bunch of drunk, uh, a bunch of drunk guys. And then he encounters them. But, like, I'm, I, this panel is really easy to miss. So, and I'm like, okay, so there, there, guy, that guy is supposed to be that guy, and he's like fuming or something. There's like no uh, context to what previous relationship these guys have. This guy, just out of context with no dialogue whatsoever, is just a guy encounters some drunk dudes and <laughs> starts slashing them with a sword. There's no context. There needs there needs to be more dialogue. I really think there needs to be more dialogue, uh, but there isn't, and it's leaving me really confused. Uh, so, other than that, I mean, I think the art is it's it's whatever. It's not the best. Uh, some of these panels are really confusing. Like, what is happening here? I'm I'm just doing a few examples, but. Uh, what's happening here? I know this guy's was like flipping or something, but I can't tell which direction he's flipping or if whether he's doing a front flip or a back flip. 
Like, I, I only know he's just jumping or something. And then he immediately gets up. There's no panel to show that he's struggling at all. He just immediately gets up. Like, what is this? There is no... Um, it just this doesn't feel like I'm being told beat to beat to beat what's happening within a scene. It's just, oh, this is the action that happens in the scene next. And it's like, okay, but can you tell me maybe them recovering from an action, like cause and effect? Like, tell me something about a cause and effect. Don't just show me this guy charging this guy with half the panel pro- uh, gone. And also uh, just, just doesn't make sense. He's, I don't know. Maybe you could put somebody there to show that he's charging towards that person. Cause that guy's going that way too. So you can like have them charge each other at each other. I don't know what's happening here. And then like, Oh wow. There's like a bunch of empty space here. You could have put something there. Um, I can't tell what's happening. Uh, you get some, you get some, whatever action but i feel like a lot of it is blurred it's hard to tell what's exactly happening within these panels um but then we have the lettering and i feel like again needs more dialogue so much more dialogue please explain what the fuck's happening here explain instead of giving me a big text a page of text where half of the words are in, uh, uh, here are not able to be read because you have white on light pink and you can't read that. It's called contrast. Learn graphic design, please. Sorry, just that is annoying. Have to read this and then given it something with no words. I'm given no words to explain what the fuck's happening. We just have a guy who's just swinging a sword around. (sighs) Give me some sort of context for why he's doing it. Otherwise, I just think what the fuck what what action is there so you know there is okay we've picked it up we've picked it up he's now reading with a a meeting with the rival is he's about to sort him right there's some there's some here there's some automatopoeia no witnesses some of the dialogue is weird like there is the it's it's kind of disconnected and disjointed and i don't understand it uh after killing a bunch of these guys, th- this rival guy comes out and he's like, how quickly you dispatched the weak? Where's the fun in that? What? That doesn't explain what the fuck he did. He's just dispatching the weak like that is job or something. And maybe I could get something more clear if it was explained within text bubbles on the page. But it's not. So I don't have any fucking context. And maybe he's like assigned to the government, but I still have no context. Maybe he's a rogue. Maybe he's killing government opponents. I don't know because there's no con, there's no fucking bubbles. I can't tell. So, anyway, so the lettering, there needs to be more. Uh, some automatopoeia needs to be bigger. Like this, die, 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 definitely needs to be bigger. It should be like surrounding him, so it's like all encompassing him. Um. But yeah, some of the automatopoeia, it just it just looks like this this was made in a, a baby's first Adobe Illustrator. Uh their first time using Adobe Illustrator. And this is what they this is what they got. Um so there's that. That could So and I also does he have yellow healing powers or something? Because he, there's, like, yellow that goes over him. I think that's, like, the clearest thing in this is that there's yellow healing powers. He has healing powers. So there's that. Oh, man. I wanted to bring this up in the art. So there's a really big guy. Huge guy. Big guy. He's wearing this huge, massive yellow raincoat. She steals it. She steals it? How big is it on her? Let's see if I can find one that's... A decent okay. This this is tiny. This is matching her tiny feminine body. It's not matching a big giant man's raincoat body. The raincoat shrunk. The raincoat is shrunk in between the pages. Oh my goodness. Also, I noticed uh she wears iconically a very, very pink dress, but in this page. 
I noticed no pink dress. Nothing here. And these are these are the things that I noticed on my first read through of this. Oh my goodness. So there's the lettering. The action. This this is action. The comic book. The action is very anime inspired. I've definitely seen this kind of drawing style done before in anime. Uh, I don't read much manga, so I don't have exposure to that. But like the action, there is an attempt. I mean, I like I like this right here because there's a lot of motion lines. You can definitely tell that the guy is like screaming and enraged and like he's moving. That I like. Oh man, I forgot to tell you. The rule of eight, 180, the rule of 180 is broken several times in this book. All right, let me show you an egregious example that I noticed was also really... Okay, literally, first read through on this, she's like pointing that way. Looking, it looks like they're about to run that way. And they start to run that way. And they're running this way! They're running this way! That is really bad! So anyway, what was I saying? The action, the action. There's a lot of motion lines. I mean, it's all right. It's serviceable. The action lines are serviceable. Um, the action's all right. Uh, very anime-inspired. My favorite part, although, is when he gets sliced in the jaw with the sword. And now his mouth is just gaping open. That's, that was my, that's my favorite part of this comic book is just that um so uh, the action is honestly the strongest part of this comic book uh and the drama i guess the drama part is just the chick leaving her her sex trafficker captors and then that guy goes swing 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 i mean that is i mean i or is he's like he's also fighting this guy with the blue coat too I uh, the drama, whatever drama there is in this book, is immediately, uh, immediately surpassed by how much action there is in this book. It's just like drama and then immediate action and then lots of action, and then there's that. It's this is a, a weird book. Where is my calculator? I'm about to do the salad, uh, scoring method. That's what it is. It is so, the story. Okay, this story, it has one in the middle. It starts having one in the middle of the book, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna harp it there, but the beginning is a little rocky. I'm going to have to give it, it's a 2.5 for the story. For the art, uh, the art's all right, but it could be better. Uh, the art's a solid three. Uh, the lettering is egregious, needs more text bubbles. It's a solid two. And then we have the action is definitely the best part of this book. Uh, so we got a 3.5. And then we have the drama. I couldn't tell what the drama was except for that chick uh, dealing with her sex traffickers. Uh, so I'm going to give it like it's uh, fuck, a two. So Just to Die issue number one. Gets a 13 out of 25. And I was being generous. 13 out of 25 on the salad scale. And this has been Get a Mince God Issue. Oh, yeah, those are good. Those are good. Now there's none of that. All right, chat. Did you agree with me on that? Amateur and inexperienced creators. It happens. Uh, we, we all got the drive to create some more than others, but... It's all it's all good. We all, we all got the drive to create. It's about improving. It's about taking that criticism, not freaking out like Eric July does. So you just hating on that comic. I mean, I wanted to like it. I kind of like it. Just uh, it could be better. Well, the problem is, uh, it's so much worse than Shotgun Samurai. It is so much worse. Which is a comparable book in the sphere. I was literally, uh, I had a plan to be like, oh man, where's Shotgun Samurai so I can read chapter 8 of that? Couldn't <laughs> find it. So I pulled out Just to Die, number one. Then I read it. Then I the find Shotgun Samurai. This is one of the books Eric like finished funding, right? Yeah. Because he's like uh, an asshole. <laughs> yeah. 
he chose this book. He's like, oh, I went ahead and I filled three campaigns up. That's one of them. Yeah. And you chose this cover after picking it on the show because you like Jose Garcia. Yeah. Art. I really like Jose Garcia. The rest art. of the book's not like quite that good. No. But no. I, covers are, you know, extra good. Yeah. All right. I don't think we have time for a full Clip and Ripper segment, <clears throat> but let's go ahead and do, we can do the darts and we can. We can avoid Matt Barr yet again today. He's having a freak out again today. Oh yeah. So you know we'll we'll wait it out. We, you really gotta wait for a guy like this to stop spurging before you make fun of him again. And he's been spurging since the first week that we covered him. Uh, just every almost every single day, his his Twitter account is just him screaming about piss porn and pedo sympathy. <laughs> so. Yeah, it, it really Get Mint Salad's piss porn at fansly.com slash pissman salad. Get her regular porn at fansly.com slash titsman salad. Oh, speak- Find all the links at autisticboobs.com. And we did get a super chat while you were doing that segment. Yes, yeah, so I was about to say, speaking of money, uh, Serpent Thrope for $5 says, Did you get the unwanted house guest comics? And will you review them? I think I have. I thought it was black and white. I think I saw them uh, today. I really? Think, I think I do have them. Look for that. I will. Wait, uh, the it's got like a sort of a Meat Canyon looking art. I, I don't know what Meat Canyon looks like. I'm not familiar. You know what Meat that. Canyon looks like? It's like the 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 cartoony, like exaggerated big faces and stuff. This, this, yeah, you do have that. There like you go. Series. Well, there you go. Yeah, I have this series. Yeah, look at that. He's got like the big teeth and shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is Meat Canyon. No, it's not. Style ish. I'm just of. saying it's like it's like horror art. Horror I didn't know art. a better reference point for you that is unha- unwanted house guest art okay uh yeah so you have that we can review that you can review that later in the month that's exciting we have uh we have like at least three more shows this month We're doing monday well tonight we have cg scum lords again yeah frog tony and i and some guests we just talk shit uh talk about the news talk about whatever it's not reg- regimented like this show there's no segment flow uh, we could probably just make fun of Rip on there too, but <laughs> we're trying to do, we're trying to, people keep telling us to do something without drama. So we're trying to do like just a fun hang podcast. Frog Tony twisted my arm and convinced me to do it. And now he's threatening to rape me. <laughs> if anybody super chats that show, <laughs> fucking wait, thankfully nobody's been super chatting it. One super chat equals one rape. No, like 50 bucks oh. equals a rape. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, in Chicago, he's going to come rape me, I guess. We're all going to meet up in Chicago and we're going to have a rape off. I'm going to rape harder. <laughs> um, so look, Mentalid, dartboard time. Ah. You got the darts all set up? Oh, I do. I cool. have them. Uh, I should mention who Mon- I have on the Monday, board. Monday, we'll, we'll catch up on Matt Bar. We'll, uh, we'll make a point to make fun of some Matt Bar Monday. And then Friday of next week, Mint's going to the Colonel Chicken Festival. Yeah, yeah. During the show, and she's gonna call back in on her phone while she's down there. Yeah. And uh, chat, we get to tell her to do wacky things in public, <laughs> uh, and like interview people about chickens and stuff. Yeah, that'll be fun. That's we'll, a fun. We'll segment. have to have many chickens in the chat for that one. Woo! 4 p.m. Friday. And then yeah, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's the schedule. All right, Mint. All right, check out these uh, darts behind me. Uh, I should mention who I have. I have on the board. I got Eric. I have Eric five times. Uh, I have Vito, uh, Ricky Retardo, Yellow Flash. Uh, I have a Saska sister, a Matt Barr, and uh, that's it. That's who I got. So check this out. Who got the board behind me? It was over there. It's right over yonder. So we're about to pull it out. Let's hit that song. Why are you fighting on the internet? You're fighting on the internet, and every time I'll be here, it's Matt Bar. And he's fighting on the internet. You're fighting on the internet, and every time I'll be here, it's Matt Bar. Why are you fighting on the internet? You're fighting on the internet, and every time I'll be here, it's Matt Bar. And he's fighting on the internet. You're fighting on the internet, and every time I'll be here, it's Matt Bar. Why are you fighting on the internet? You're fighting on the internet, and every time I'll be here, it's Matt Bar. And he's fighting on the internet. You're fighting on the internet, and every time. Young Cooper's gonna throw how many yards? Six yards. Every time I'll be here, it's Matt Bar. Uh, 11 balloons and six starts. Alright, one. Two. Three more darts, chat. Three. 
We gotta pop all these balloons. Send your darts in. Uh, send your super chats for darts in. Four. Two more darts. Five. Last chance for super chats. Get some darts thrown. Six. Woo. We have, uh, he hasn't missed yet, chat. Get your super chats in. Ooh, also, we've hit a thousand subs. Uh, thank you, everybody, for subscribing to this channel. Uh, I'm gonna have the membership unlocked and available Monday. So, thank you, everyone, for subbing. Subscribe. Uh, those are all the darts. We have not gotten the super chat yet. Last chance for super chat. Uh, Super chat dart. We got PG Scum Lords tonight. I'm gonna be watercoloring, and we have Young Clippa and Frog Tony, but other people are gonna be talking shit. Mad shit. Anyway, uh, this has been. This has been. For Cannon's Sake, episode 32, and I hope to see y'all on Friday. I hope I hope y'all have a good day. See, see you guys on Friday. Adios. Oh, he's popping all the balloons. Oh, no. All right. Adios. Bye-bye. So I go away if Oh, before I before we go AFK, thank you TJ B R. Oh, TJ Bro Chill, TJ Bro Chill, thank you for the two dollar. Hail Mint and Riley, thank you, thank you for the two dollar. Greatly appreciate, big appreciate. And now go AFK and go touch some grass uh, before uh, CG Scum Lords tonight. Adios. <laughs> So I go away if can And the nasty shit don't mean a thing Where we operate You could get a ring on your finger Or a bang or that lingers Or a lifetime of pain Or a lifetime away Yeah you don't know about my internet Back before that Y2K light You must be this weird to check They called it the Wild West I call it an incel festival Not the brightest or the best But that they felt the rest of fools Down amid the kids and tools I only felt uncomfortable You're here to lick your wounds But no, that's not the thing to do We don't know what to prove And there's no one here to teach There are the ones who preach But we ain't good at listening The blind that lead the blind Deeper, deeper into the deep your soul's against the reef, bleeding, trying to find your feet You wanna be my friend? Then we're meeting IRL Cause I've been AFK since realizing needing the nets and L And so I go AFK And the nasty shit don't mean a thing Where we operate, you could get a ring on your finger Or a bang, or that lingers Or a lifetime of pain, or a lifetime away they can't steal my style, cause I never keep it old They wanna see me shine, but I do not gotta go ring Used to never focus in class, cause God told me Spread my message and get on their gas, they can't hold me I can never think about who I'm past, that's the old me Y'all posing just for a like, but I've been there Algorithm had me stressed, now honestly I don't care Cause I ain't never had a time where winning equals don't share And so I go AFK, where we operate You could get a stranger to remember you A family that resembles you Or your life thrown away, or your life thrown away no sneak this here. Do I prefer face to face and on the street shirt? Sure, but I ain't just a mean sir saying let's all be her. Comedy's cool, but I'm over what I seen there. Build a team like preachers, but the weak chairs. I'm over E fame, got more of it than a knee blare. These songs are Jeep while I sleep deep in my weed there.